everyone, it's Dark Siggy here again. Welcome back for another video. So, this is my second deck that I've played for the Scholomance expansion. It is Reno Jackson's Odd Mage. So, the key idea with this deck is spell damage. You have a bunch of minions that improve your spell damage, and you have a bunch of cheap spells that can go face and benefit from spell damage, and you can kill your opponent like that. So, consider this to be somewhat of an aggressive mage. Now, there are a couple of key inclusions in this deck that I want to talk about. Archmage Antonidas. I have not played this guy, Tony, competitively in a ladder deck for God knows how long. A year? Two years? Don't even know how long it's been. I can understand Tony's value in the deck. Uh, spoiler alert, in all of the games in this video, Tony does not make an appearance on the board. It just wasn't needed. I can see that in the long, long game, you can play a couple of cheap spells with Tony, you get fireballs, use the fireballs to kill your opponent, uh, to finish them off, because hopefully at that point in the late game, their health total is quite low. So yes, I, I can see Tony being used as a finisher. It's just I've not needed him. It turns out Flame Waker plus cheap spells is pretty effective. Or, actually in my case, um, spell damage enabled minions plus cheap spells just wins the game as well. The other interesting inclusion is Raz Frost Whisper. So Raz is uh, a new card from the expansion. He is a 5 cost 3 6. At the end of your turn, deal 1 damage to all enemies improved by spell damage. So if you've got spell damage minions on the board, Raz does more damage, not only to the enemy board, but to the enemy hero. Raz can find you unexpected lethals. It's just worth noting, and at 6 health, he isn't always easy to remove. So, without any further ado, let's get to our first game. And we're going up against a priest uh, whose name is I Love Priest. How amazing. We're going up against a priest expert. We're going up against somebody that is a priest veteran, clearly. Still trying to figure out mulligans with this deck. Uh, I, I suppose you are looking for one cost minions like Lab Partner. None will I threw away Primordial Studies. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep that. Oh, it says explode. Hmm. Is someone injured? Is someone injured? Now the hero power that you've got with Odd Mage is pretty amazing. I keep forgetting how good it is. It just allows you to snipe away early minions that get played. I like the steward because it's got a discover ability, but Zealots is two man, it's cheap. And I think the key here is to go for something cheap. So we go with the cheapest option. Yeah, that ability to snipe down early threats is so critical. It allows you to maintain a board. Let the pain speak to me. Only a fool rejects the Okay. Lich King. Unexpected results. This deck actually plays two copies of unexpected results. I have never played that before. In a ladder deck, or in any deck. And I absolutely love that this deck has found a place for it. Mini Mage is stealth, but Lab Partner is cheap. So I think we go for the Lab Partner. Right, we're doing a number on his face. Now I don't know if I should have played that lab partner, if I should have just kept it back in hand in case there's like a mass board clear or something. That's really smart. Removing a spell that I can use. Wow. Look at him go! Okay, that could have been worse for us. Um, you fight me, you get burned. 
Hmm. Whoops a daisy. That was a misplay. Well, I don't know. I didn't read the card text properly. I thought it would have done four damage to his face. No, it's four damage split amongst minions. Whoops. Doesn't matter. It's still three attack. It can hit face for three. Let's pretend it was all planned. Okay. Bye bye to my poor board. But actually, that's lethal without spell damage being enabled. Feels pretty amazing. Not bad at all. Okay, during this game in progress against a mage, and as you can see, it's a secrets mage, and we have a spell damage minion on the board. We have a cat. Excuse me, you are on fire. We had a cat. He just I'm killed late. a cat. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Hmm. Two of those played on turn five is a bit ridiculous if you ask me. And we're in a bit of trouble now. Is it cold in here? Or is it just me? It's not explosive runes, and so we have to hope it's not counter spell. We have to pray it's not counter spell. It is counter spell. We're sad now. That's really annoying. And now we know that Shinvala will not survive into next turn, more than likely. I think he's done for. Is Shinvala a he? I have no idea. Um, this is a scary board. He's racing us, and gosh. <laughs> Torch to the face. Ouch. Hmm. So we need to discover something good here. Mini Mage has stealth. It's not the cheapest, but it has stealth. We need something to stick on this board. That's going to be really, really important. Now we need to get lucky. Oh, almost. Almost lucky. But do you know what? This is not too bad. Comparative to how this board was a turn ago, I'd say this is a good result. So this deck can make a comeback against a wide board. And if the stealth minion sticks, we're in a good position, I think. Because I think my top decks are going to be better than his. If they improve spell damage. Combustion. Hmm. Okay. We have many, secrets. many secrets. Sure. Oh god, that hurts. Um... I was confident about my health total, but now we're at 11, I'm less confident. And there goes the explosive runes, that is incredibly painful. But that's the trade-off. Because we need Raz Frost Whisper to not die. So I took the damage there from the runes. In order to put Raz onto the board, and I'm hoping my opponent doesn't top deck a fireball. If he doesn't top deck a fireball, we should win this game. Actually, is this just lethal now? Wow. Wow. Just wow. Alright. Next game. 
will be the end of you. It's a paladin. So, a wild paladin. What do paladins plan wild? They're usually mech paladins, right? None will survive. So, they will like to magnetize their mechs. Astromancer's great here. Um, they like to magnetize the mechs, put, combine them together, make them big. I will crush your delusions of Let's see if we can burst him down before the mechs become a problem. Oh, it's not mech paladin. How very interesting. Still, same strategy applies, whatever he's doing, whatever he is, let's see if we can burst him down before anything bad happens. What? You think you can take me? It is Giant's Paladin. Takal, that's um you fight me. interesting. You get burned. So we, we finally read the card text on Firebrand and we now realise it will not do face damage. It will only damage minions. So now we are more educated as to how this works. Let the pain speak to me. He is being pretty slow though. That's a really good thing for us. Okay, he's down to 14, including armor. Do they run healing in their deck? I can't actually remember. It's been so long since I've faced this deck. Oh, bloody hell, it's a Reno deck. Okay, oh, that's different. And he had Reno on 5 with the coin, by the way. That's just nuts. Um... You fight me, you get worse. Turn it up. Sure. Enough of this. He may have healed to full health, but this board is still pretty dangerous, and if he is playing giants in this deck. He's playing Molten Giant. Um, it's going to be a while now until he can play it again. Because he's back to full health. Sometimes when you see Reno, you, know, you, you just cry. Because you've invested all of that damage. And now that damage has been undone, right, when they heal to 30. And maybe you don't have enough damage left to actually kill them from 30 again. But we've got plenty of damage. We've still got a lot of damage to come. The problem is going to be card draw. Which makes me wonder... If Arcane Intellect would be good in this deck. Even two copies of it. I wonder. But what would you take out? Is the question. <laughs> May as well play it. May as well do it. Um, yeah, this is still a lot of damage being represented. We've seen Reno. But I'm assuming he's got a lot of flexibility to, 
tech seven cards into his deck. In an aggressive meta, maybe there's more healing in his deck, taunts, things of that nature. At least he's thinking about things. I don't seem to be putting much thought into my plays. There's Raz. Um, this board is annoying. I mean, the the Carl Tut Defender, that healing, it's really, it's really good for him. It's gonna take us longer to burst him down. It's really annoying. How much longer can he stall this game out, is the question. And for me, when should I put Raz on the board? Even if Raz is only doing one damage AoE, is that still worthwhile? And um, he's got my hero power. Oh wow. Is this his comeback into the game? Flame Waker with no spells makes me really sad. But we just have to play everything. These trades are awkward. Well, that will help when we get some spells. We've got him quite low. We just need to get a spell to go with the Flame Waker, I think, and we'll be fine. But he's got to clear off a good chunk of this board, right? He can ping off the 5-1, but that doesn't do anything about the Flame Waker. So, I guess Reno was his significant healing. But it's a Reno Paladin, so maybe they run Lay on Hands, right? Maybe they've teched in various absurd Paladin cards. Okay. Holy wrath. Sure. Holy Wrath in a Reno deck. Amazing. But I believe... Is that just lethal? No, it is one off lethal. Unfortunate. Yeah, Lazoth didn't matter. Those Kartart defenders couldn't heal him on that turn. Happy days. Okay. Final clip. Line Cracker. Who would have thought that Line Cracker was still a thing? Master. At this rank, on the Wild Ladder. Unbelievable. And we almost had him. Feels bad. Okay, so Reno Jackson's Odd Mage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, I think there may have been refinements made to it since I played it. So um, if you are going to play this deck, try and find the latest version of it. Um, I'm sure that with a lot of the decks that are coming out now for the Scholar Mance expansion, 
featuring new cards, uh, most of these decks are not going to be in their optimal state. It's going to take a number of weeks before we reach, an, uh, I guess, a more optimal state uh, with decks, and then hopefully a more stable meta. What will be interesting to see as time goes on is uh, whether the previous Tier 1 meta decks are removed from their position at the top, and if other decks start to take over. I just have a feeling that uh, Quest Mage is still going to be um, at the top when the meta settles, and, and I don't know how much will actually change. Um, but we can live in hope, and um, maybe some of these new cards are going to be as good as people thought they were going to be, and maybe the meta will really then change. But anyway, thank you very much for joining me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all again very soon, as always, for more Wild Mode fun.